You are all welcome to the Biovest NG Conference brought to you by Saucy Vibes and funded by the Embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany. Today we are making history. We're leading a dynamic conference that is bringing together several months of work on the Biovest NG project. This project, which has been generously funded by the German Embassy in Nigeria, has been a journey in love and stewardship. Thousands of young Nigerians and I dare say Africans have come together to learn and actively participate in biodiversity protection and climate advocacy. Um, Nigeria has such a rich biodiversity. However, over the past few decades, the country's plethora of biodiversity has come under significant threat. Animal species and plant species are currently at the risk of extinction. I know you are more interested in the butterflies in your belly than the ones going extinct. But this piece is not totally about you. It's about the many prayer points of the praying mantis that you and I can provide answers to. These days when I see estates rising up and they're just building small, small houses and clearing the whole forest and I'm like, these houses may take one third of what you are using by making it story building, for example, and then that will reduce our impact on the environment. We organized the Biovas NG internship program where we had um, top seven participants from the workshop intern at various um, conservation organizations in Nigeria. It's been a privilege to leverage our collective experiences in providing strategic guidance through regular meetings for this project and witnessing the project flourish to the successful completion right now is very, very rewarding. Every three you bring down, by the policies that government has put in place, we should be able to do this. So I think what really worked for me was um, when I decided to get involved, the first thing I did was to gain sufficient knowledge on the topic. I don't mean like getting PhD kind of um, knowledge, but just knowing the basics on how you can engage, right? So um, after doing that, then I started attending a couple of conferences on environmental issues in Nigeria. I truly believe that you when we engage our local community members, a shift in mindset is very, very positive for um, um, local same, cultural factors that affect by language. You can create jobs with biodiversity conservation by establishing a lot of conservation, like some of the, the openness, animal openness, some zoos, some all this. You encourage people to participate because without the incentive, you can't bring some people on the boat. Because you think, why, why are we conserving this animal? And that is the most question people ask. Why do you ask us not to kill this animal and eat the bush meat? Some of the group members had suggestions like we needed to conduct assessments and engagement of target communities and then through creative activities such as stories, music, poems, rhymes, etc. to keep it infused with school curriculum. The campaign should start from grassroots level. We should not wait on government before uh, we can start any campaign. And that means as young persons, we must soak ourselves in innovations and research that seek to first know the problem and see the necessary partnerships and collaborations that we need to enter into to be able to solve those biodiversity issues. The highlight for me for today's conference is the panel session where we had discussion on different issues on biodiversity. The trivia sections and the game sessions were quite interesting, brought everybody to life, you know, we had a good laugh. Of course, the food part is fun. 
always fun. The paper presentations that were done on biodiversity in Nigeria, the, the impacts and the policies and how they should be implemented, it was a very nice session. It has been our immense pleasure implementing the Biovalency project and we are very excited that we have finally come to the end um, with the national conference that we organized today and it was very, very inspiring watching um, the fruits of all our actions culminate in this event. Personally for me it was awesome because I got to meet um, Biovasas whom we've been engaging with over um, the past five months. Seeing people we've been chatting, you know, having live sessions with physically and I, I really felt, you know, I felt great. So thank you very much everyone. I want to specifically also thank the German Embassy in Nigeria for giving us this opportunity to impact over a thousand young people directly and over 200,000 young people indirectly through social media. And we look forward to doing this with every one of you again. Thank you and God bless.